Hi Leos, it's Nick. This is your weekly reading. We're covering April 15th to the 21st. Hope you guys are doing good. I know I was off for a few weeks. I did already post a video kind of explaining why that is and um, going over the astro uh, astral, uh, astrological energies for this week if you want to watch that, okay? But let's get into your reading. We're going to go over a little bit of health, career work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And this is for all my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Okay? And don't forget, I'll have a link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. All right. So this week, guys, for your message, we're going to do a Jupiter and Uranus conjunction message. So what maybe you need to or what you could be growing, changing, and expanding on at this time but in your own unique individual way so this could be something you're already doing right now or something that's going to be taking place that you're going to be looking into or working on maybe um, in this uh, next little while okay so let's see what's going on with all my leos what are they going to be growing changing and or expanding on at this time or what they need to focus on and this could be a sign synchronicity or give you a little hint um, or confirmation for all my Leos. Nice. Okay, so you guys got the rider and it's the nine of hearts and it's number one. So number nine, the number one heart. So you are actually going to have the opportunity, I think, at this time um, to really take on and go for this journey and uh, you it's like you are you're the writer you're the one uh, deciding which path to go on which route to take which road to ride on pretty much so you are the writer at this time you are the conductor you're the driver and you are deciding where you need to grow where you need to change where you need to expand and maybe right now i think what you need to grow change or expand on is having more confidence in yourself to make that decision like you are directing where to go you are telling the horse where i want to go where gallop here let's go over here jump here and i think just owning that like owning that you're deciding it you're the conductor you're the driver you're the writer so you decide where you want to go you just have to have confidence in yourself that you know where you're going and even if you don't know where you're going you trust that you're gonna go where you need to go so i think at this time you need to put more faith more belief in yourself you are carving the path carving the way and um, i think follow your heart a little bit more follow more your emotions get more in tune with your feelings and emotions here um, and know that you're on a spiritual path on a spiritual journey and learning more about yourself every single day as you go on these new paths and have more confidence in yourself to know that i will find my way even if i you know get taken off the path and have go on detours i'll find i'll somehow find my way back and go to where i need to go okay so you are the rider maybe some of you ride horses um, or you love horses or um, maybe you've been contemplating buying a dress or a long dress possibly um, or you're you've been thinking of going on a different direction in your life and maybe this is a sign yeah you can go for it like if you want to do it go do it no one nothing is stopping you okay all right my dear leos so what's going on when it comes to your health for this week you guys got the ten of pentacles all right so this could be a really good week for your skin hair nails your back maybe your posture if you were dealing with any issues maybe in that area with your hair skin your back uh, maybe this week you're actually looking good you're feeling good you could be you know uh, showcasing a new wardrobe or maybe you did something new with your appearance and now you're showing it off maybe you bought some things or you went shopping and so this week you're actually getting to you know wear it uh show it uh you know uh take uh go somewhere and actually use it possibly so it seems like you're in good health for the most part this week you're looking strong you're feeling strong you could be really indulging buying some things for yourself treating yourself going shopping or doing some online shopping um, or you're just feeling really good about yourself you're feeling strong so maybe you've completed something and you're feeling proud of yourself you're feeling good and you're like you know what i worked hard i i deserve this i earned this let me go go to my favorite expensive restaurant or 
by myself you know that thing that I've been wanting even though it's a little pricey but you know what I worked hard I'm proud of myself I earned it so you're looking good feeling good and maybe treating yourself or feeling good about where you're at maybe with your health even if it's not perfect maybe you've worked really hard to build you know whatever you're at right now and you're feeling kind of more accomplished okay all right then when it comes to your uh work school career and finances you guys got the king of cups so this week uh maybe some of you could have water in your chart or dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio or just that energy in your work school career and finances maybe you're working with or go to school with or doing business with a water sign possibly or you yourself this week i think it's about having emotional discernment so when you're dealing with people, customers, clients, bosses, you know, sales people, whoever, it's going to be very important you have emotional discernment and that's going to really play in your favor this week um, and really help you out when doing transactions, connecting with people, whatever. Because at this time, let's say maybe you have a superintendent or boss or someone who's coming in and watching or, you know, just kind of like seeing what's going on they may be paying attention more to the connections how people are perceiving you or how how are you dealing with people how are you making them feel and that is going to be more important than just what you say how you make someone feel this week listen to them understand make them feel comfortable um and i think this week if you can really keep your emotions in check you know not do too much not not be too passive or too emotional you will be in a really good spot but it does look like you are going to be really really well emotionally or you're going to be able to really have emotional discernment uh keep your composure keep your cool maybe be a good example of you know how to be courteous and polite and nice and welcoming but also not be too naive uh you seem to be in a good place and you may be feeling really happy with where you're at maybe with your work school finances or you're feeling emotionally uh comfortable okay and i do see that maybe if you're dealing with people you have customers clients or something like that they uh, may be receiving you well especially if you connect with them emotionally this week by telling stories or you know just making them feel a certain way all right then when it comes to your uh work school um, i'm sorry love romance dating or relationships on your side we have the moon the star and the queen of wands so some of you could have cancer and or aquarius maybe somewhere in your chart then on this other side for this other person this can be the past present or future situation or all three all the above we have the ace of wands the eight of wands and the page of pentacles so as far as who you could be dealing with um it could definitely be another fire sign like yourself aries leo sagittarius or also earth sign taurus virgo capricorn sun moon rising and or venus it doesn't have to be though it could be any sign like i always say to you guys this person may be younger than you if not by age maybe by experience or their maturity um or they act a little bit younger but I do feel like here that there's going to be some kind of emotional connection or healing taking place uh, between you and someone. It feels like here that there's going to be like a new, this person may be sharing some kind of new idea or wants to try something new or do something new with you and they're very excited about it. So they may, uh, it may happen very fast. Like they've been message you, call you, and they're like, whoa, 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 have like so much to say because they're very excited about this. They have like, they want this new beginning or they want to include you in it or want you to be a part of it. Um, and maybe they want to apologize to you or make, make it up to you in some way, shape or form or invite you out somewhere. But they seem to be excited or like something's been bubbling up and they want to share that with you. And I feel like you're expressing yourself in a very emotional, vulnerable way, but uh, it, like very raw, real and authentic. But they're receiving it well. They're receiving it super well. And so you're being really open, really receptive and uh your seeing thing and i feel like you're going to be healing in like a new kind of way in your own unique individual way and some kind of wish actually also is coming true is coming true from out of this so 
it's like they may be sharing something they're really excited about something they want to do with you and you show you, know, you show excitement back you're like oh my god i'm so happy for you like oh that's great all right like cool and because you're being so like nice and receptive about it they may actually come back and say you know what thank you so much for your support or your love or uh being there for me and being excited i'm sorry if i was hard on you or i'm sorry if i you know whatever happened in the past or something like thanks for supporting me thanks for believing in me and you know showing me or telling me that i'm gonna do great whatever the case is you guys are healing or this, maybe through this connection through this person you're also healing like mentally emotionally in all ways and you're able to see things in a new way or this connection you're able to see it in a new way see this relationship see this person or both of you and you're gonna be feeling maybe a little more empowered or a little more comfortable in your own skin by the end of the week feeling a little bit more receptive feeling more in tune with maybe your feminine energies or just how how you receive and feeling a little more um I guess yeah I would say comfortable empowered and feeling better in your own skin more confident so I feel like here there's a, someone in this whether it's romantic not romantic they want a new beginning an opportunity for a new beginning or they're excited about something passionate about something they're sharing that with you and they're going to be spending a lot of time talking about it it could happen really really fast but you're open you're receptive to it and there could be a lot of healing that's taking place or healing conversations uh, that take place this week that help heal you them both and they may apologize or want to make it up to you and make it, that may make you feel a lot better about the situation or make you just feel better about yourself okay so you're opening up you're using a lot of emotional discernment not just at your work school career and finances but also your personal relationships and that is helping you expand it's helping you think about things in a new way helping you heal therefore have healing conversations and it looks like here that this person may from their passion or excitement or talking to you may want to do something for you or apologize or uh, take you out somewhere or give you give back to you in some way shape or form if that makes sense okay so i actually feel good energies for you guys and um it does look like you will probably be if you weren't feeling good before maybe by the end of this week you may be in a better place or a little more like oh, okay I, I start i'm starting to feel like myself again if you weren't feeling like yourself before okay all right so let's continue on and extend it to get more information see where their energy is at what are they thinking what are they feeling when it comes to you what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action move will be towards you and then follow it up with your advice at the end okay so we'll continue on the extended link will be below i'll see you guys there if not i'll see you for your next reading all right take care bye